this is Nikki and I'm here to share messages I get from spirit and for all of us who are all on this journey to love and to reunite with our divine vibrational matches in this lifetime and this is part two of today's message and uh, all morning I have been hearing 46 46 46 I'm like okay 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 I'll do a message around the 46 so four and six is ten ten is one one is new beginnings and if anyone else has felt this total like like it's been like we've been walking through a quadmire. It's been really sticky energy and it feels like we're not out of it yet, but it is changing, right? You can feel yourself being able to move through it quicker. And so um, when I saw the mantra, it totally made sense because of course, the more you walk on this journey, the more you walk your own path, the more you follow your spirit the more um, you realize that your soul is in control of your life and that leads you back to your twin. So my soul is totally in control of my life and I love it. So repeat, repeat, repeat the mantra because it lifts and shifts energies, it lifts and shifts all of the blockages, the um, resistance, right? Opens you up to following your soul. So my soul is totally in control of my life and I love it. So I'm going to see what is letter 46 because I've been hearing it over and over again and I'm like, okay, 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 I'll do it. So I want you to know that quite simply, you are the most beautiful woman that I've ever seen and the most beautiful heart and soul that I feel in the essence of me every single day, every second of every single day like a rose that blooms more beautiful every year. You are like the amber nectar, the fuel that makes me want to be more of who I'm meant to be. My soul, our souls are calling us back together. You must believe that this is true. There is such a beautiful journey ahead of us, a beautiful future for us to experience together. You are my greatest adventure, my greatest fear to overcome, my greatest challenge. With every challenge comes strength and you bring me strength. Together we will power the universe. Be strong with your love. Feel my love for you and trust in our journey together. Wow. So just like I was saying about getting stronger every day, you know, with every dip in the energy, you come back stronger. You know, with every kind of challenging experience in life, you come back stronger. With every challenging experience with your twin, something that knocks you off your feet and makes you go into fear and doubt after that you come back stronger it's the cycle you know it is the universe testing to see are you ready you know do you want to be this spiritual warrior because the time is now so 46 book two that you are so beyond precious to me like the rarest of pink diamonds i love and adore and worship you i want you I want to honour you and your body with every part of my heart, soul and mind. I want you to know that you are all I think about. I can't get you out of my mind. Everywhere I look and wherever I go, I'm thinking of you and how I want to be there with you. I know that our hearts are bringing us back together. I know that our hearts are our only truth. Our hearts are telling the story of our soul's journey back to each other. Keep listening to the story of your heart. Oh my God, how cute is that? Keep listening to the story of your heart. So really strong, really powerful, really like that's where your strength is. Your strength is aligning head and heart. Your strength is aligning um, the vibration, right, of love within all of you. Um, and staying open, even though you might go through really challenging times and really difficult times with your twin that makes you think, are you joking? Is this really true? Um, but it pushes you into more and more of who you're meant to be. So, 46. So listen, look at this. Oh, it's been a difficult time of late. <laughs> I know that you get cross with me for not coming forward for not making more of an effort to see you. Oh my God, this is insane. But please know it's not that I don't wanna spend all my time with you, but it's scary. It's like I'm putting my foot in a hot bath. You know when you get in, it's going to surround you, relax you, and make you feel relaxed, comforted, and at peace. But dipping the toe in the heat is scary. 
and has to be done slowly, otherwise we get scolded. And I don't want that. I want our love to be precious and beautiful. Oh my God. But that's crazy. Because basically, my twin always does this thing. He's like, come on, let's meet up. And then he freaks. And then clearly he freaks out and we don't meet up. But it's always him who instigates it. So it's exactly like this. And the other crazy thing is, I have a roll top bath in my bedroom and he has had a bath in that bath and I was thinking about that this morning and uh, just it was playing over in my head about you know when we you know when he was here and I was just thinking oh my god that's so like so the fact that this has come up in this letter is just hilarious I mean that's just mental so okay so I can see why this letter had to come through today. I mean, this is it. The synchronicities are insane. I mean, the chances of this, I mean, and he did have, that was the one time when we were actually, you know, before he went all weird, before we went into separation, he had a bath in my, um, yeah, in my bedroom. And uh, I just remember thinking, this is so amazing. And uh, that it was just so comfortable, you know, it didn't feel like, we were just so comfortable together. It just felt amazing. Yeah, how bonkers. Okay, oh, it's been a difficult time of late. I know that you get cross with me for not coming forward, for not making more of an effort to see you. <laughs> but please know it's not that I don't want to spend all my time with you, but it's scary. It's like I'm putting my foot in a hot bath. You know when you get in, it's going to surround you, relax you, and make you feel relaxed, comforted, and at peace. But dipping the toe in the heat is scary and has to be done slowly, otherwise we get scolded. And I don't want that. I want our love to be precious and beautiful. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I totally see why. Uh, I mean, it's just beyond bonkers, to be honest. Sometimes it's just like, things like that. I'm just like, stop, shut up. I was thinking that very thing this morning. So my soul is totally in control of my life. And I love it. The other thing is, is that things like that, you listen to your intuition and then you absolutely know that it's your twin talking to you because, you know, for him to relay that in that letter then, that's the exact thing that I was thinking about this morning. So it's just, you know, the journey is getting, it's heightening up. I mean, I'm sure all of us feel it. It's just getting more powerful, more magical, more like crazy synchronistic more just yeah it's like speeding up after this last few days maybe a week of where it's felt really heavy really like oh this is hard work you know like when you're walking and you get stuck in the mud it felt like that it felt like every step was hard hard work and uh, it feels like you're coming out. It's not out yet, but it feels like we're moving out of that. So, amazing. So, just keep believing. Keep following the voice of your soul. And that, like that said, keep listening to the story of your heart. All right, I hope that helps. If you want a healing, a reading, a channeled letter, any of my services, then please do. All details are in the link. All right, take care. Bye.